Hi, so what you're looking at here is an OLED screen connected up to um, a board running clean flight and it's just doing a simple display test at the moment. So later on we can use this for displaying things about the flight controller and potentially have an interactive menu that you could control with the sticks from your uh, transmitter. And this is all very much work in progress. This is connected up via the I2C bus so you don't need any spare pins on the nays. Um, or your other flight controller board of choice. On the back of the naze, <coughs> you can see it here, there's a couple of pins over here, SDA and SCL. Basically, those are the two pins that you would hook up to one of these little boards. These boards are available for about £10 or something like that, or maybe even less. There's a couple of different brands of them. Here's another brand that is uh, known to work. It's basically a, the same screen. As you can see, it's a UG2864 screen. They come in different colours as well. So the one I've got here is a, a white one. You also get slightly different format versions of them like this. And this one basically has a yellow bit at the top and a blue bit at the bottom. Um, you can't control the actual colours of it, but um, that's what they are. So on the back of these boards, you basically bridge over BS1 here to put that in I2C mode as the table shows you here and then you hook up uh, V in ground reset and over here you bridge D1 and D2 together and then you've got clock and SDA when D1 and D2 are bridged together and they basically hook up to the flight controller and you can get some output from the screen. Uh, the the RES line here um, is should be permanently pulled high. You can see it on my board here, which is the uh, third one up, this black one. That basically plugs into the same place that the orange one is plugged into. So basically that's the supply voltage. That's a 5 volt supply going in. Um, I'm using a logic level shifter over here just to shift the levels to 3 volts, 3.3 uh, 3 volts for the um, the I2C, uh, which is what you'd basically get from the back of one of the NASE boards or your other flight controller board. Basically on the back of the flight controller board you get a couple of extra pins, SDA and SCL, which you can hook up to the SDA and SCL pins on the back of the uh, display. So there we are, obviously you can see some display corrupt corruption there because I was tinkering with it while I did it. There we are, slightly loose connection. So just to show you this as well, this is running off, let me refocus the camera, if we can, there we go. This is running off um, a very cheap $10 development board. This has got a slightly bigger processor than the uh, NACE32 has but it's the same core inside, it's just got more flash RAM and more inputs and outputs available to you. You can actually make a little board which sticks on the top of this and I'll just stick it next to the NACE32 so you can see how big it is. There we are. So it's not a particularly giant board, uh, it's got mounting screws and so on in the corner as well, mounting holes, so it should mount on a cord quite easily. So you can see I've basically taken the I2C output pins from over here and I've hooked that up to this little breadboard here <clears throat> and that's my little sensor board, a little 10 DOF thing with a barrow on it um, accelerometer and gyro on there uh, and a pressure sensor as well, yeah barrow pressure sensor yeah and that also is hooking up to a couple of very small EEPROMs and another I2C device just while I'm testing the different I2C devices and that basically is all running and away it goes so there we go. So hopefully we'll be able to do some cool stuff with this later on. Enjoy.